but accepted in the beloved Jesus Christ. God is saying to you, strength and dignity are your cloak, and your position is strong and secure in Jesus. Shake off the shame of the past, and this is your day to move forward and begin to see God with a new perception of his loving kindness. May you rejoice over today tomorrow in the future. For God is expanding your horizon beyond what you can see or imagine. God's hand is upon you and he keeps you from evil and you will not cause Open your mouth and be skillful in God's wisdom, and on your tongue is a law of kindness, giving counsel and instruction. For the Lord has given you the tongue of the learned, that you should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. For God wakens you morning by morning. He awakens your ear to hear as the learned. I sense in my heart that someone has felt as if you are not loved and you don't feel valuable. But God is speaking to your heart today and he is saying, For surety, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Now receive my love into your heart and rest in my peace. I have covered you. For you are not rejected, but accepted. Today, I've come that my presence would rest upon you and in you. Will you receive my love? Cast off the negative thoughts and replace them with my truth. Though you have many trials and life has been difficult, I am ever present to give you comfort and what you need. I am the comfort ever present to heal and restore and refresh. Father God, I will stand on the promise of your word, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, 
which is in Christ Jesus, my Lord. Father, today I declare I will rely on and be confident in you, Lord. And no weapon that the enemy have formed against me shall succeed. For this is part of my heritage from you, Lord. In my heart is the word of God and his instruction. I will not be afraid of people's scorn, nor fear their insults. I choose to gird myself with strength, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness for my God-given task, and make my arms strong and firm. The Lord has placed on my heart that so many single moms and dads have the responsibility of their children, and this season has been extremely difficult for you. God is saying, don't allow your circumstances to dictate what you can and cannot do. Some of you are saying life would be so much easier if I had a spouse. God is desiring you to look to him for what you have need of, and he will supply you. Allow God to bring transformation in yourself, and you will see the beauty of what God is doing. For your maker is your husband, or wife. The Lord of hosts is his name. He sees your circumstances, and he knows what you have to do. Only turn to him in faith and believe that with him all things are possible. Just like the widow of Sarah that was in the family that had hardly anything left, she was asked to provide a small piece of bread to the prophet. She obeyed because of the promise given to her by the prophet. But that says the Lord, the God of Israel, the jar of flour shall not be spent, and the jug of oil shall not be empty until the day that the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She was hesitant because she had planned to make the last meal for herself and her son and just expect to die later from starvation. Just like God supernaturally extended the flower and oil for the widow, he has supernatural resources that will be extended for you and your family. Only listen to him and be obedient.